a and b are integers and a b equal to 2 to the a minus b find the value of a and b okay when we want to solve this problem if i rewrite the equation a b equal to 2 to the a minus b i know 2 to the a minus b is always positive 2 to the anything any power is always positive so a b is positive so if you want to check the sign a and b both of them are positive or both of them are negative and i want to say with that loss of generality we can consider only both of them positive why because if both of them negative you consider x equal to or let me write a equal to on and they cannot be zero because the product is positive so in this case you can say a equal to negative x, b equal to negative y, which x and y are positive. And then if you rewrite the equation, replace a and b with negative x and negative y, negative x times negative y equal to 2 to the power of negative x minus negative y. And it will be 2 to the y minus x, and it will be x, y. So we will see it is similar exactly to this number. So we need to only find to this equation, we need to only find the case that plus plus, and then we also negate both of them. So I can say without loss of generality, consider both A and B are positive. So let me erase these things. So if I write A and B are positive numbers. Now, because A times B is 2 to the power of something, so the only prime that a and b can have is 2 to the something. For example, 2 to the power of, let's write, we can say, for example, r and b equal to 2 to the power of s. And because a and b are integers, so r and s should be at least 0. Now, if I rewrite, look, the reason I said a to r, b to s, because the product is 2 to the power of something. For example, a, b is 2 to the power of 100. So a and b can only be 2 to the power of something because they cannot be multiple of 3, 5, or any other prime. Now let's work on these two things. If I replace a with 2 to the r and b with 2 to the s. So 2 to the r times 2 to the s equal to 2 to the 2 to the r minus 2 to the s. And then we can conclude 2 to the r plus s by power rule. You can add up the powers because we have product here. So you should add up the powers. It will be 2 to the 2 to the r minus 2 to the s. Now, when we have 2 to the x equal to 2 to the y, we can conclude x equal to y. Now, here we can say, okay, the powers are equal. And the powers are what? r plus s equal to 2 to the r minus 2 to the s now that's good r and s are at least zero so we can say this part is also at least zero so because r plus s is at least zero so 2 to the r minus 2 to the s is at least zero so we can say 2 to the r is greater than equal 2 to the s so we conclude r is greater than equal s now we can say so r equal to s plus t which t is at least zero so if i rewrite the new equation here r plus s this and use r equal to s plus t so i have i replace r with s plus t s plus t plus s equal to 2 s plus t minus 2 to the s so 2s plus t equal to 2s plus t minus 2 to the s and you can factor from 2 to the s it will be 2 to the t minus 1. okay now i rewrite all the assumptions here 2s plus t equal to this but we can guess for a little large s and t okay so if you pay attention 2 to the s 2 2s 2 to the s for large s, we can say it is less than or equal a little large s, 2 to the s. For we know r and s are at least 0, 
So we for S zero um, it is not correct. Yes, it is correct. For S1, it is correct. For S2, it is correct. And for after that, look in each step, left side will be plus two, but right side will be multiplied by two. So for example, for S0, it will be zero, the star equal one. In next step, for S1, it will be two, it will be two. For the next one, for S2, it will be 4, and it will be 4, plus 2. The next one, 6, 8. And after that, it will be multiplied to, it will be plus 2. So always this equality holds. So it's okay. Now we should focus on T. So it is always correct. 2S less than or equal 2 to the S for S greater than or equal 0. Let's focus on T and 2 to the T minus 1. Now, if we consider the two parts, we know that let me work on this t i want to see for what t t is less than or equal to to the t minus one for we know t is at least zero so for t zero it is less than or equal negative one it's wrong for t one it is less than or equal one minus one one for t two it is less than or equal 3. After that, this part will raise so much greater because in each step it will be add by 1 and here it will be you multiply by 2, but it has negative 1. But the things you add is greater than or equal to. You add by something greater than or equal to. So we need, uh, let me tell you, it is correct for t that at is at least 1. So because it is correct for all s greater than or equal to 0 and t greater than or equal to 1, we have one special case. Our special case, if I draw it here, is when t equal to 0. If t equal to 0, I want to write this equation. It will be 2s equal to, and right side will be 2 to the s, and t0 will be 2 to the 1 minus 1. 2 to the 1 minus 1, 2 to the, sorry, 2 to the 0 minus 1 is 0, and S will be 0. Because R, we said that R is S plus T, S is 0, T is 0, so R is S plus T is 0, and A is 2 to the R, B, 2 to the S, so A is 1, and B also is 1. And we find that A and B are equal, and they are equal to 1. So, now I say, okay, case 1, T is 0, case 2, T is at least 1, and we have this inequality. Okay, now I can say what? I can say, okay, I know 2S plus T equal to 2S times 2T minus 1. I know 2 to the S is greater than or equal to 2S. And 2 to the t minus 1 greater than equal to t. So 2s times t. Now I take all things to right hand side. 2st minus 2s minus t. Now I use similar idea. Simon's favorite factoring trick. If you don't know the name, it's not important. You multiply by 2. It will be 4st minus 4s minus 2t. And then I want to factorize this. If I want to factorize, I say okay. 2s, 2t, minus 1, minus 2, and it will be, okay, 4st minus 4s minus 2t, less than or equal to 2, because we have negative 1 times negative 2, 2. Now, we know you want to check the cases. If s, so, look, at first we should check small cases like s0 for example s1 and here we've checked t is 0 so t is at least 1 t1 is okay we should check t2 4 minus 2 2 okay after that if s is greater than or equal to or t greater than or equal 3 we will see right hand side is not less than or equal to so we should check four cases, S1, S0, T2, T1. 
So let me erase the things we don't need. Okay, so we've reached the case that we only need to check S0, T1, S1, S2. Okay, our equation was this, so let's check. If S equal to 0, then T equal to 2T minus 1. So uh, the only case for T, let's check 1. The only case for t is 1. And if t is 2 or 3, the right hand side will be greater than left hand side. So t is 1. s is 0. r is s plus t, which is 1. And a is 2 to the r, which is 2. And b is 2 to the s, which is 2 to the 0, 1. And if we check in our main equation, you will see left side is 2 times 1, 2. Right side is 2 to the 2 minus 1. Again, two. So we found another answer. The second case, the uh, uh, S zero. We've checked now S one. If S is one, then two plus t equal to two times two to the t minus one. Now it will be two to the t plus one minus two. So we can conclude that four plus t equal to two to the t plus one. If we check 1, it is not correct. T should be even. And what about T0? If T... Uh -huh, let me check in previous case. Uh -huh, we said T is at least 1. Okay. So if T is 2, it's not possible. If T is 4, it's 8. It's not possible. So here, we don't reach any case. So we've checked also this. Let's consider when T is 1. If T is 1 in our main equation, if you replace T with 1, it will be 2s plus 1 equal to 2 to the s, 2 to the 1 minus 1 is this. So, because the left hand side is odd, right hand side is even, the only case for this case is s when s is 0. Because if s is 1 or 2 or something, this will be even, but the left hand side is odd. So, s is 0. r is s plus t, which is 1. So r is 1, t is 1. So, a is 2, and b is also, let's check. A equal to 2 to the R, R is 1. B equal to 2 to the S, which is 0, 1. So again, here we've reached same case. We've calculated here. So we've checked T is 1. Let's consider T is 2. If we replace in Marin here in our equation, T is 2, 2S two plus 2 equal to 2S times 2 to the 2 minus 1, which times 3. Now. Because we've checked S3 and 1 here, S is at least 2. So S plus 1 is 2S minus 1 times 3. If S is 2, left side will be 3, right side will be 6. If S is 3, we will see right side will grow faster. So here we can't have any answer. So A equal 2, B equal 1, A equal B equal 1. Now, we said that... Uh, in the beginning of the video that without loss of generality both a and b are positive now we should check the cases that a and b are negative in this case we should replace a equal to b equal to negative one and you can see that it will be correct for this case a should be negative one B should be negative 2 if you say see the case. So left side, it will be 2. Right side will be 2 to the negative 1, negative, negative 2, which will be 2 again. So we found four answers for this problem. In this problem, we've worked on many important ideas. If you want to learn important ideas in geometry, combinatorics, number theory, and algebra, feel free to send message to my WhatsApp number in the description and comments also if you had other solution comment below this video and please don't forget to subscribe turn on notification like the video and you can use my other videos to improve your problem solving thanks for watching this video have a great day bye